hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple stripe. All right, what's good, family? So, in case y'all did not hear the news, Baltimore County Police closed investigation into Ravens wide receiver Zay Flowers without charges. Now, I read some of the story. I'm going to be real with y'all. I have no idea what the heck they were talking about. She stated that she was physically assaulted, which left her with multiple bruises. Police wrote in a report, but when contacted by Baltimore County Police later in the month, she said there were no further issues, nor did she disclose further details relating to the original report. Police wrote that they contacted an attorney presumably for Flowers in a, an attempt to speak with him. The attorney told them he would not he was not available at the time in reference of this report. The investigation was deemed suspended on February 16th. Now, the woman went with her father and friend to the Action Police Department on January 21st and told officers she had been involved in a violent domestic incident the week prior in Owing Mills. The woman had suffered bruises and said the suspect's brother had, had pulled a gun according to police records. She did not want to share the suspect's name or address officers wrote. So she didn't say the person's name. Now, how the heck they come and say it was a flowers? I don't get it. They also said Baltimore County Police Dispatch Records also showed that on January 16th, a 9-11 call from a distressed woman was delegated to the house next door to Flowers. Then I can't even find the other part where it said they couldn't determine The department has an open investigation and working to determine if any crime has occurred in a statement that confirms Zay Flowers as a suspect. Because I've seen they said something about they were trying to figure out who the woman was talking about, so they went on social media and found Zay Flowers. But if this next door, what? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense, but hey, he's off. He's cleared. Like, what the, is this some type of, uh, what, what's that Martin movie with that crazy woman? I can't even think of the name. I can't even think of the name. But is it that type of stuff? Like, going on? Like, I don't get it. But hey, he's cleared. Hopefully, he can take this as a lesson as watch your back. Record everything. Heck, you see what they did with Michael Irvin? Michael Irvin was talking to a woman. Just talking. And she made up some story. It's hard out here. It's hard out here. But hey, hopefully this will be the last news of negative news we hear from Zay or about Zay. But let's keep the ball going. It is the Ravens off season. And let's just keep this going. I just see Jeff put out something while I'm making this video. Baltimore County Police re released its report 9-11 call investigation of a January incident involving Ravens. The police say investigations are closed. The NFL spokesperson says that that the NFL is monitoring all developments in the matter which remains under review. So I'm not the only one that's like confused on what's going on. 
Does this mean Zay hasn't done anything? Or is there still a chance he could be charged? So he either did it, her brother did it, or she doesn't want to talk, but either in, in them in jail. Like, so was it his brother doing the stuff? And she knows that's his brother, so she's getting him in trouble too. Like, I don't know, y'all. I'm so done with this story. I don't know. I've known some people personally that have been lied on. Both male and female. So I don't know what the heck is going on. But hopefully he stays innocent. He stays out of trouble. And continue to grind and and uh, keep his family out of trouble. Even if his brother did it, I'd be like, hey, bro, you, you better get it right. You better get it right. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all that update. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Uh, that's my last time talking about it. That's my last time talking about it, hopefully. Anyway, everybody stay safe. Keep your head on the swivel, and God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. The knob on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. The trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turned up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the